we start at the foot of Table Mountain at Cape Town's waterfront, where the SA Rugby Union recently hosted a special gathering of SA Rugby's former captains, who were brought in to help lend a hand to the new Springbok Experience Museum. It was the first time that captains from teams pre- and post-SA's rugby transformation had gathered together as one group. Well, today is all about the recognition of the fact that South Africa has got a diverse culture and has got a diverse rugby history. And today we're honouring all of those captains that played for any South African team over the time. That includes the, the, the black history as well as the white history in terms of, of, of the SA team. So, yeah, a, a joyous day and, and the pre-launch of what is going to be a magnificent experience in September and, uh, and hopefully an experience that everybody will enjoy. The great captains of yesteryear and current year all gathered together to be on this very stage at the VNA Waterfront. This is probably the, the most epoch-making time for us in South African rugby, where we have 42 national captains, the pride and joy of a country that has come together under the dream of Mr. Mandela, a country where rugby has played its part and will, and will continue to play its part. Ladies and gentlemen, it really gives me goosebumps to be able to stand in front of these great leaders of our country. It's a very special day for South African rugby, but also I think for all the captains involved. You know, um, you, you know it's an honour to play for South Africa, and you know it's an honour to be one of 54 or 55 captains ever. Um, but when it, on a day like this, I think that's when it really counts. You know, and the guys have gone to a lot of effort to to really make us feel special. And you know, putting your hands and your feet in bronze and and having them laid out is a bit of Hollywood involved in that, but I think it's a, it's a phenomenal um, sort of initiative from Saru and I want to thank them from my side and I think, you know, to bring in the old coloured board and the, and the blackboard guys in is, a, is absolutely amazing and great to see them there. It unifies us as players but also unifies South African rugby and the public behind the spring box. Norman Nbiko was captain in the 70s of the SA African team known as the Leopards. It means a lot for me. My grandchildren can watch me can see that I played rugby and they can appreciate the fact that I'm part of rugby. Francois Pinar famously received the Webb Ellis Cup from Nelson Mandela in 1995. The Springboks victory sent the country into a frenzy of celebration. It's an emotional experience today to put your hands into, into cement that will be bronzed. It's very emotional and again you've got to pinch yourself and say wow I've been part of something much bigger and that's you know, when you play for the national team, when the kids do actually look at those hands, and not only obviously my hands, but all the hands that have carried a rugby ball before ours, and that will carry a rugby ball long into the future, it's that you're part of something much bigger than just uh, an individual playing rugby. You, you represent a nation. To me, it's wonderful to actually see the different um, categories because in terms of where I come from with rugby since 2002 and to see before then when my father used to play and seeing those captains of those days and seeing um, the people like Nas Bota and people like Yusufan these days and to me it is like, wow, uh, SA Rugby actually does have the idea of getting all the players together. To me, that is a very, very uh, a good thing to do. I so wish that they don't stop here, they can go on and on and on. Now this is just an awesome um, idea, it's good to, to be present with all the uh, living rugby captains of South Africa and to be part of that. And I must be honoured, I'm, I'm honoured uh, to be part of a, a function of this nature. So I was excited coming here as well and uh, so far we had a great time together meeting and interacting with all the other captains. The moulds of these former captains' hands will now be cast in bronze and installed as part of Saru's new Springbok Experience Museum. Museums, it's about telling stories. So when I go to a museum, I want to read about interesting stories about how things were done and uh, <clears throat> learn a, mo a lot more about the history of, of a country. And in rugby terms, this museum will tell wonderful stories, stories that I've not been privy to, which I'm looking forward to experiencing. So, you know, the question I always ask, would I bring my kids here? Absolutely. I would love to bring my kids here because they will learn a lot, but I think I will learn um, even more than they would. Because uh, my, my time in South African rugby was um, at a very special moment. But before our time in South African rugby, there's a lot that went on that, that we didn't know. Uh, and that's what will bring me to this museum. I'm immensely proud to have had the opportunity to wear the Springbok blazer. 
and, and Jersey um, and very blessed to have been given the opportunity and that space in our history uh, to play some rugby. The Springbok experience is due to open at the V&A Waterfront in Cape Town later this year.